Innovations in synthetic biology are enabling the creation of bespoke products and services, contributing not only to the significant bioeconomy, but increasingly creating value for society in addressing some of our major sustainability challenges. Synby City is the UK's national industrial centre for synthetic biology, providing expertise in technology development and commercialisation. Donna Bernard went to find out more. Based at Imperial College, the London DNA Foundry is the core facility at Synby City. The foundry is playing a key role in an industrial revolution for the 21st century. But this time it's not iron or steel, but molecular biology, conceived in the 1970s and culminating in 2001 with the groundbreaking DNA sequence for the human genome. It's kind of a convergence point of our knowledge and technology and innovation which has come together which has provided the huge opportunities that synthetic biology now offers. Synthetic biology uses bioscience and engineering to change or make new living systems and cells using the basic engineering principles of the designed, build, test and learn cycle. The heart of biodesign in synthetic biology is the design cycle. We start off with specifications, we then do the design, we then do a lot of mathematical modelling and we implement the design and then test it in great detail. You can then apply that to re-engineering living systems at the genetic level, the same idea of standardization. But the only way to do that is to provide this kind of very strong engineering process where you can start and try and standardize your processes and actually take those foundational methods through to industrial processes and products. The foundry's work is pushing the boundaries of standardization. This combination of engineering and biology creates a platform to commercialize bioscience and technology, resulting in bio-based products that will potentially reduce our dependence on petrochemicals, giving synthetic biology a key role in the UK bioeconomy. Can we move from that kind of economic dependency to a bio-based dependency where we start using waste, agricultural waste, uh, even gas waste, and then we feed organisms which we've re-engineered to make these different products. Exploiting synthetic biology's potential in other areas such as health puts Synby City and UK industry at the forefront, second only to the US globally. The centre is instrumental in implementing commercial translation initiatives for synthetic biology offering SMEs and startups a range of resources to develop their innovative ideas. The first is the foundry where we're sitting at the moment. This allows uh, DNA to be constructed for industrial companies. Uh, the second area is in terms of uh, business courses and the third area is in terms of the development of a skilled workforce. There's been targeted promotion of synthetic biology in the UK with major government investment. But to continue to incubate and accelerate businesses, both external and public funding support must be maintained. You need continuing public funding, you need educational support, and you need private investment. They're the three things that go together to really support the field. And this needs to be done over a 20 year period. Students at Imperial have already benefited from that investment, as demonstrated by the success of Customem, a student startup which began by taking the runner up spot in an international science competition. One of 50 companies supported by Synby City, they are already working with chemical wastes. At Customem, with these bio based materials, we can target really problematic, really toxic chemicals. And so we can help remove them from wastewater, and that helps hugely human and environmental health. Symbi City is uh, Imperial's Synthetic Biology Translation uh, Center, and they've been absolutely instrumental in growing this company, uh, in helping us start it and growing it to what it is today. It's safe to say the biological industrial revolution is truly upon us, with accelerators like Symbi City supporting the expansion of new companies commercialising technological advances which are transforming the life sciences while creating value for society. And that value extends to the global economy, with the sector predicted to be worth almost £7 billion by 2022.